guys. So today I have another Timu crafting haul. I have actually 22 items here because three of them are the same thing. But um, yeah, let's get into this. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing any of the items you see in this video, all the links will be provided in the description box down below, as well as if you have not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is also a link that you can click on, sign up and get a $100 coupon bundle, as well as a 50% off promo code for your first order. So let's dump this, let's dump it all out. All right, so the first item I see, I'm grabbing. This was a $1.87, and this is a crafting haul. I don't know if I remembered to mention that at the beginning of this video, but um, this is 100 of these, 10 by 10 centimeters. And these are like treat bags, but I use these in my Poshmark boxes to put some of my items in and whatnot. I've purchased these before, I think in a different size, but I might've purchased this size. I think I purchased ones that were like just a little bit thinner and a little bit longer, but these are like, um, what do you call that? Like a frosted look with like white polka dots. And they're like self sealing bags. You peel this off, put it down and they, they seal. And I always like to keep stocked up on various sizes of bags because I go through these a lot in my Poshmark orders. All right, next up, this is a pack of beads. This was 89 cents. It doesn't say what size they are, but the I believe I don't buy anything less than 10 millimeters when it comes to beads um, because my beaded pens are a certain size for the um the little pole on it but these are cute little oop, green hearts with chunky glitter in them and i love that color green it's hard to see in the lighting but here look at that color so pretty so pretty and it is snowing outside right now and it is snowing harder we're supposed to get like a few inches of snow today and I'm letting you know that I pre-filmed these. So it might be after winter by the time this comes out. I'm not sure, but yeah. All right. Next up, this was $1.79 and these are those, um, little, um, pens, the mica powder pens. So I got one in blue. I was trying to get them all in the same color. I mean, one in every color is what I was trying to say. Ooh, this does not look like this blue. This is like an, a teal blue. So this is more green than blue, it kind of looks like, but this is so pretty. I love that color. Oh. Gorgeous. And if you're wondering, this is color TJ07. These are for brushing. Okay. So if you have molds, I haven't shown you that mold yet. I'll show you this mold. So this um, is another mold that I got. This was $1.48. And this is a little tray, but <laughs> It's the back of a lady, a voluptuous lady. I just thought it was really cute. But anyways, so as I was saying, if you have a mold that has these um, little parts that stick up that are really hard to like go in with a um, an acrylic pen or something like that, you would take this, the little cushion tip, and you would paint it right along the lines and then pour your mold in whatever color you want, whether it be clear, whether it be white, whether it be it glittery, whatever. And those lines will show up in the resin and they'll be colored. So you don't have to like do that afterwards. So these are what I like those for. And 
we're gonna move on to where is it it was in here one second um these were free these i got um i believe in i don't know farmland or fishland i don't remember what one but it was like an extra gift that i got for like completing certain tasks in it and they sent it like before my final gifts or whatever i showed you one of these in one of my epoxy videos um but in case you haven't seen that what these are they actually call them daubers but they're a cushion tip just like that pen i showed you um that you can put in like a regular mica powder what i do is i just pour a little bit in the lid and then dab it in there and then brush it on the mold, dab it on the mold where I want to. But the great part about these is that they're reusable. So you don't have to stick them with one color. When you're done, just wash them. I'm going to be washing them with like a makeup um, makeup brush cleaner or a, a beauty, ben beauty blender cleaner. Just wash them off and you can use them for another color. This was a pack of 10. One's missing, obviously, because I used it for a mold. But um, yeah, these are going to come in handy so much for when I don't have, for these ones, when I don't have a certain color that I need, I can just use a regular mica powder and brush my mold with it. So those are going to be great. Next up, this was also, this I won in my first farmland. So these were free as well. This was like my big gift for farmland. And then I got like some, a headset for Royce. I think I hauled that in a different video. But this is a set of two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, 8, 20, 22, 24, 26, 26 mica powders all in this size bottle so this was a great deal so this one is black then we have white and these are all pearlesque so they all have a um a shiny hue to them so black and white then we have this like really pretty like i guess you would call it like sage green then you have like a a green that's are these the same i think this green is just a little bit brighter than this one then we have two different yellows this is like a little bit lighter than this one and then we have like a golden yellow so three types of yellows we have two types of bronzes this one's a little lighter than this one then we have three types of blues we have like a standard light blue we have an even lighter blue with just like a little hint of green in it. And then we have like a teal blue that has some green hue to it. Then we have two purples. This one's a little bit brighter than this one. This one's like a muted purple and this one's like a boom, bam in your face purple. Then we have a gray, silvery color. Then we have an even silvery color. So this one just has a little hint of like green in it. Then we have this like uh, rusty, dusty rose kind of color. And then an orange. This is like kind of a little bit of a light orange. And then we have an orange with a little bit of like a pink hue to it. Then the rest are pinks. This one's a really deep, almost red pink. Same with this one, but it's a little bit lighter of a red. Then this one is your like standard dark pink. Then we have like a pink with a little hint of purple in it. And then your like really gorgeous, pearly, light, light baby pink. And that is all for the mica powders, but I am super excited to be able to use all of these. That was a perfect farmland free gift. <laughs> Next up, these I've already dug into and that's why it's open. But this was $3.98 and it came with this, which I haven't used because I don't really need it. 
but this is um like one of those hand drills that you just kind of like twist by hand and then you put the little drill bit in here and then you can twist it to make your holes and your like jewelries and your keychains whatnot but i have an electric one but i had lost the drill bit that i needed and then there's certain size eyelet hooks that i have that i need different drill bits for so i bought a pack of drill bits and there are like I already used, I think I have one of them out, but I believe there's like 20 of them, maybe 25, but I think there's 20, all different size drill bits. So I am over the moon about that because I really needed that. Then speaking of eyelet hooks, we have two different sizes and colors. So this one was 89 cents. This is a pack of, I, be I believe a hundred. And they are this size. So this is a little bit bigger than what I was normally using, which is perfect because those little teeny tiny ones, they were, they were a pain in the butt. So these are like this size. And these I got in like almost a white silver. And then this size, oh, what millimeter were they? 10 millimeter. These are 10 millimeter, um, eyelet hooks then these ones are five by 13 millimeter and they these i believe there's a thousand either 500 or a thousand but i think it's a thousand but as you can see they're a little bit bigger these were a dollar 47 um and these are like a if you can see the difference, these are like a more like metal silver. These are like a white silver, like a white gold almost silver. And these are like your standard silver. Then this was 34 cents. And this I got for when I do my craft fairs and my yard sales and all that kind of stuff. And I, it's to put my business cards in. It's just a little cute acrylic case um to just set them in so that i can set them at the foot of my table and people can take a card when they want to instead of me having to get up and be like here's my card it'll be readily available for um the taking which reminds me i need to print more cards then this was a dollar 34. I'm not going to open this just cuz I don't want these to go everywhere, but this is a pack of beads. These were a dollar 34. There are 100 and it's a 10 millimeter um hole. So I'm guessing these ones that I got were an 8 millimeter because these have a smaller hole on them. Slightly smaller. So these were 8 millimeter um and these are 10 millimeter but it's just a pack of, they're like wooden beads. Yeah, wooden beads that are painted. There's gold, silver, dark blue, like a teal blue, um, a tan and brown. So a nice, beautiful colored mix. Then these were 97 cents. I got a pack of these in white. There are a hundred, I believe, or is there 50? 50. And these are the earring cards in the little cute little cat shape. So you just poke through those little holes and put your earrings in them to display. All right, so these I got three of. You've seen these before in another color. Um, oh, they're taped. These were $1.89 each. But I'm trying to stock up on these when they're under $2.00 a piece just to have like a wide variety of these because they're cute they're kind of popular right now it's hard to get this tape off with my hands being so cold all right got it open i'm just going to open up one because they're all the same and they're all the same color so they are those little mini tumbler shot glasses so i got them in black i have four in pink i have three in black i got three of them and it comes with a silicone straw 
and it comes with a straight metal straw. So this one is, is, uh, what do you call it? Bent. And this one is straight, but super, super cute. And like I've said before, if you're interested in purchasing or ordering a personalized one, let me know. Then this was a dollar 18. I had one of these. You've seen it. If you've seen my epoxy creations video, or if you've seen my Poshmark, you've seen these. Um, it's a mermaid tail, but when I, um, demolded one, this came off with it. So I have not been able to use this in a long time. Um, th this I had when I first started doing epoxy and I have not used these since because I couldn't find it. I was like, oh, it broke. Went back to repurchase it, gone, sold out. Went to look for a new one, like a, in a different listing, none. Then I saw this, it popped up one day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to buy it now. So I did. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need it. I miss it because the mermaid tails I have now are bigger and you have to drill a hole in the top. These ones already have the hole in it and they're really cute. So I bought one of those. Then this was $2.47, a little much for a small mold, but I thought it was super cute. And these are perfect for like badge reels. Badge reels, pop sockets, whatever. But it says RN on it and it's a heart. And I thought that was super cute to make like little badge reels because I feel like nurses, medical people, medical staff are the ones that have the badge reels the most. So this is going to be super popular for that. And let me know if you're a nurse or if you know a nurse and you would like to purchase a badge reel with this on it, let me know. All right. Down to the last four items. This was $3.48. This, I believe, is iron-on, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to... Let's see. Yes. Yes, this is iron-on. Um, this would have been perfect when Jess was doing um, a little Grinch onesie. <laughs> um, because this is like the perfect Grinch green. It's also Kelly green, I believe. Right? Am I right? But, um, yeah. So, this is iron-on vinyl, HTV, grass green, it's called. I don't know how long it is, but I believe it's, um six foot or four foot but i think it's six foot judging by how much is there by 12 um by 12 inches by one foot so this is gonna be nice because i don't have this light of a green i have like a super dark green then the last three are molds this one was three dollars and fifty nine cents And this is just a little like, it actually is advertised as a candle, but I thought this would be cute to make just as like statement pieces. That piece is hanging off. Okay. And it's a rock on symbol. I love it. I'm excited to do some stuff with that. Then this I bought around, oh no wait, I have three more molds. So one was trapped under the other. This was 71 cents. I actually bought this because someone asked me um, if I could make a rosary because I do have some bead molds that I got from um, one of my subscribers in that huge box that I got. So I said, yeah, I have some bead molds, but I don't have a cross right now, but I will order one. So I did. 71 cents. I got a cute little cross and I can even put her name down it or cross whichever way or I can write faith or just something really pretty on it. Then this I bought around Christmas time, like before Christmas, but I never got around to hauling it because Christmas time was crazy. This was $4.98, but this can be used for like winter too. 
but it's a tea light little tea light holders there's two of them and they're snowflakes how cute is that it's like you make it this is actually the way it'll sit when it's demolded and you put your little tea lights in there i suggest if you're using tea lights with epoxy use the battery operated ones because fire could melt the epoxy or um even when your epoxy is exposed to heat it could let off um some dangerous gases so yeah then last i have had this in my cart for forever forever and it was over ten dollars it was like over twelve dollars for the longest time sometimes over 15 but i had a price break and it went down to eight dollars and 54 cents and i was like i'm getting it it is a huge mold but it's one that i really wanted to do something with because Coffee pods are still kind of popular, the Keurigs. So these are the sides. Oh. These are the four sides. So it would go like this. Not quite in a circle. But yeah. And then the top and the bottom. And then they go like this. So it's a coffee, a coffee pod stand. Little like circular one. How stinking cute is that? Let me know if you want a coffee pod stand because I can make you one. But I was super excited about that. And I was super excited that it was under $10. So yeah. But that was the last item. Like I said in the beginning of, of the video, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, all of the links will be in the description box down below, as well as if you've not signed up for Timu yet and you would like to, there is a link that you can click on, sign up, get a $100 coupon bundle and 50% off your first order. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.